Today's video has been approved by committee. Hail the new world order. Hail the new world order. Hail the new world order. Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Yes, I've had the same hoodie on for three days in a row. It's warm, it's comfortable, I like it, it smells good, and uh, I got toothpaste on the collar today when I brushed my teeth. Honey, who? Uh, let's get into uh, the crooks of the video, shall we? The nominations for the Game Awards. Uh, game of the Year have been announced. The Industry Insider Awards. <laughs> Which means, of course, uh, that all the progressives are going to vote for the progressive stuff. But we'll vote. We'll, we'll get into that in a moment. Uh, and the nominees for the Game of the Year are Animal Crossing New Horizons, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades and The Last of Us Part Duh. I say Part Duh because <laughs> it was definitely a comedy to me. Uh, it would be a tragedy if it wasn't so funny. Uh, so as regards to the nominations, I never played Animal Crossing New Horizons, but pretty much everyone in the world did <laughs> from what I could see. A very popular game with people. Quite surprised at the nod for doom eternal um i didn't hear particularly great things about this sequel uh in actual fact the the general gist uh appeared to be that it was a, a wee bit of a, a letdown uh compared to the first one especially um so a little bit surprised that it got got a nod final fantasy 7 remake which i thought was absolutely out Standing, uh, incredible remake game. I was so worried because of the uh, tumultuous development cycle that it had, and uh, so relieved and happy at the result uh, because the the acting was absolutely stellar. I thought the story was great where they took it. The gameplay was phenomenal. Uh, just. Beyond my wildest dreams uh, of a remake, I've got to say, Ghost of Tsushima, um, I think we can pretty much all agree, if you've played it, was the absolute silent killer uh, this year. I, <laughs> you know, I was <laughs> sort of not really that hyped for it at all, um, particularly when I discovered that it was a sandbox uh, game too. I thought, oh, it's just going to be like an Ubisoft for, you know, Far Cry or Assassin's Creed or something. And then uh, because I do love Feudal Japan and that sort of stuff anyway, I eventually, I did pick it up. I, I, I taught myself into picking it up as I normally do. Hence why I've got a PlayStation 5 arriving tomorrow for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, oh yes, I do. Demon Souls, that's why. <laughs> I want to play that. Um, but it was just absolutely unbelievable the narrative the story of the game was just mind-blowing uh the acting again was incredible uh the cast uh were just absolutely superb uh the choices the ending oh my lord uh this game is is absolutely stunning and then it's recently had of course uh, it's a uh, multiplayer add-on, which people seem to be uh, thoroughly enjoying as well. Uh, Hades also announced, I haven't played Hades. My friend's currently playing it. He says it's amazing. He's absolutely loving it. Uh, so I might give it a, a wee bit of a shot myself. And then finally... <laughs> The, to me, the, the biggest joke of 2020. And the punchline will be that it probably wins the award. Why? Because it's an industry insider award and they're all going to vote for the for the woke. Uh, they're all going to vote for the representation. Uh, but uh, Cockers himself... Is this Cockers? No. That was... I've jumped, I've jumped to another paragraph. Uh, this is Cockers here. 
Uh, congratulations, dogs. Never take for granted the incredible talent I get to work with every single day. Yeah, that you flogged uh, to the bone uh, with insane, horrendous crunch, uh, which made the studio have an unbelievable amount of turnover. Uh, in the end, having to bring in people who weren't trained for that specific role. Uh, but, you know, you get what you get, I suppose. And big congrats to all the other amazing nominees because he's got to try and sound humble because he probably knows he's got it in the bag. Is it the best game of 2020? Not by any stretch of the imagination. I don't even think it's in the top five, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. And with Cyberpunk 2077 coming out in December, although it won't be nominated, of course, it's too late. Now, uh, it'll probably fall further down uh, the list. But not only that, the game itself was nominated for over 10 for 10 awards, including Game of the Year, Innovation in Accessibility. Now, with this one, I have heard, legitimately, I have heard uh, that the accessibility factors of The Last of Us Part Two is very, very good indeed, um, particularly for people who are visually impaired, etc. Uh, so fair enough. Uh, best performance nominations for uh, the Vulcan Salute. Uh, I do like Ashley Johnson. But I gotta say, I wasn't uh, impressed with the performance. Not because I didn't think she was good. I think she's fantastic. I truly do. But I just thought that Ellie uh, in this game was, was diabolic. Her, her character was just so one note. It was like, uh... Uh, uh, that was Ellie throughout the whole of this game. So uh, I didn't see incredible amounts of range because I don't think the character lent it to have uh, that much range at all. And, you know, having a, a spat with your girlfriend, I don't personally think qualifies uh, for great acting. But, um, you know, we are talking about an industry award and that's all they care about. Uh, Laura Bailey, who was uh, Abby Smash again no disrespect to laura because i heard that very nice things about her a very nice person apparently uh i know somebody who knows her uh and they they only speak incredibly highly but i just didn't think much of the performance of um abby smash i thought again it was a very <clears throat> bizarre performance because of how cuckers had written the character twice uh, had written her to be one way in the first half of the game and then written her to be a completely different way the second half of the game and I didn't think there was anything uh, particularly special there in the acting at all and I, again this isn't a personal thing against the game itself because this is separate from cockers uh, I just didn't think the they had the material uh, to, to elevate to be perfectly honest with you but that's again just my humble opinion approved by committee hail the new world order hail the new world order hail the new world order uh and more apparently goes to tsushima though uh because i'm picking out my personal faves uh were also nominated for best art direction best audio design best narrative best action adventure game best game direction and game of the year uh and also uh best performance uh by daisuke uh tsuji tsuji i probably got that completely wrong and uh absolutely to me uh well worth its salt um the art direction was just gorgeous uh the audio design uh, the audio was fine, you know. <laughs> I don't, didn't think anything wrong with it. Uh, narrative, yeah. I mean, the story was was stunning and sensational. Uh, the gameplay was incredible. Uh, game direction, brilliant. Uh, game of the year, absolutely well worth its nomination. Uh, and Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, they got a Game of the Year nomination, Best Game Direction nomination, Best Narrative uh nomination best art direction best score and music and best role playing i can easily see it winning best role playing game uh i can i mean i would be amazed if it didn't win best score and music uh to be perfectly honest with you 
uh art direction has got a very good chance and narratively a very good chance uh as well as for performances i'm really uh unless they aren't choosing to put down uh personal performances from the cast i thought the performances were, were outstanding uh by cloud tifa uh Aerith, uh Aerith. uh so yeah i, I thought those performances were st particularly tifa tifa particularly tifa um and that's not just because you know i've got a oh my god mm, how can you be in love with the game um not just because of that but i thought i thought uh, the acting of tifa was just outstanding uh that character really did for want of a cliche and i'm so sorry for saying it but that character did really go through a roller coaster of emotions uh throughout the course of this game uh from being strong to being uh vulnerable to being um broken uh you know there was just so much uh with, with tifa and and uh it was just a sensational performance uh that's all i can really say there um but look i i am willing to put money that they're gonna go with the last of us part two willing to put money because that is unfortunately where we are in 2020 they will support and they will back up uh cuckers and personally if i was to give a winner i'll be honest with you i am finding it virtually impossible to to pull a winner between final fantasy 7 and ghost of tashima and with my own personal best games of 2020 coming out next month i better just leave it there really until i have to make an absolute decision <coughs> hope you enjoyed the vid if you did do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and youtube for live streaming links they're all in the description box down below and i'll be back with some more stuff very soon you take care bye for now